Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the year again. It is the Football Manager 24 Early Access release. I've got to get used to saying that instead of the beta. Thanks for that, Miles Jacobson, on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it nowadays. Uh, apologies for there being no videos over the past month or so. I have been having a break. Uh, a little bit of a holiday, if you will, from Football Manager. I was kind of done with FM23 after the series had ended for Unemployed to Legend. But now I'm feeling a lot more refreshed. Ready to go again for another cycle of the game we all love. As far as I'm aware, all the future plans that I had talked about in the previous video, which you will find in the description, I'll leave a link down there to that video, they will all still be standing as far as I'm concerned, they're all still plans and videos that I hope to do over the life of FM24. So if you don't want to miss any of those plans that are coming up and also for today's video, which we're going to get into one of those ideas actually, make sure you hit the like button down below and smash the big red subscribe button. Let's let YouTube know I am still around, I am still alive. This channel is still very much alive and you can help be a part of that resurgence, especially now that the early access for FM24 is here. But yes, we will be going with a very short term early access save just for the first two or three weeks while the game is actually currently out until the full release, which is, I believe, on the 6th of November, if I remember the dates correctly. And then we'll be able to start a proper full save, which at the moment I'm still planning to do on Twitch, but I'm still yet to figure out just how I'm going to be doing that or how often and if I'll be able to do highlight videos for YouTube but that will be determined at a later date. For now let's introduce you to the team that I will be taking over for the early access portion of FM24 and this is the team that I have chosen which will be Everton. Yes I have chosen a team who have been struggling in recent seasons uh, in the Premier League of course they've been battling relegation for the past two or three seasons that's just one of the two reasons of why I chose them. The second one is a bit more personal because we actually do have a bit more of a family connection with Everton, mainly because my mum actually supports them. Hi mum. So I just thought I'd try and save a team who quite frankly shouldn't be down anywhere near the bottom of the Premier League. So over the course of two seasons, that's the aim, two seasons, we are going to be trying to get Everton back into the European places, whether that's the Champions League, the Europa League, or the UEFA Europa Conference League. I have to get used to saying that name all over again. It's so, so long. But what we are going to do in this video, we're just going to go through the club as a whole. So we're just going to get through these opening screens. Everton have today confirmed the appointment of Craig Walsh as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the inexperienced 31-year-old. God, I'm 31 here. And he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Goodison Park. Actually, the game is starting before I've even turned 32, so I'm feeling younger already. So Everton are only, only a three-and-a-half-star reputation team. I thought they were at least four. And the media are predicting them to finish 13th, which... I mean, for season one, wouldn't be too bad, although we'd really would want to be in the top 10 after at least season one and then make a push for Europe, unless we do somehow make Europe in the first season. Of course, fiercest rivals being Liverpool. Uh, let's have a look. Still at Goodison Park, of course, until... Yeah, here we go. Due to move into the 52,888 capacity Bramley Moor Dock Stadium in 2025. OK, so it looks like we've got a couple of years. So we won't even make it into that stadium uh, by the time we finish the two seasons. That's fine. So it would be a case of can we get Bramley Moore Docks European football before we've even moved in there. The Goodison Park is not even 40,000. That's kind of surprising. And of course, former champions of England nine times in their history and the FA Cup five times, which is actually the last trophy that they actually won. As far as the best 11 goes, Denny Alley is still in there. I wonder if he's already on loan. Uh, let's have a look. So these are the transfer obligations. Oh yes, I think I should mention. Uh, there are three game modes. When you start career mode, you have three choices. So you've got original, which is the traditional football manager uh, save as in previous years. You've got real world and you've got your world. Real world is where all the real life transfers will happen on the actual dates where the players moved as you move through the career. So throughout August or July and August, players will actually be moving between clubs as in real life 
whereas your world you have the updated squads and then that's it as per the start of the season no real life transfers will happen after uh, you have actually started the save so for this one I've gone with real world so players who will be arriving and leaving Everton between now and the end of August transfer window will go ahead on the dates that they actually happen so Beto who was a striker that Everton actually signed I believe yeah 29th of August 2023 he will actually arrive on that very date from Udinese so yeah, not too bad at least we know we've got some players who will be coming in Ashley Young will also be coming in why Yusuf Jimiti from Sporting will also come in as well on the 11th of August is there anyone in particular who's going to be going out I'm pretty sure Deli Ali actually I don't know depends if he's still with the club or not I don't even know if that's the case in real life um I'm sure we'll find out don't worry we will find out of course Dominic Calvert-Lewin will be our lead striker until better arrives McNeil Dobbin on the right left and right wing Garner and Onana in the midfield I'm not going to get confused at that absolutely not Mikolenko Tarkovsky Godfrey and Patterson at the back four with of course Jordan Pickford as the main goalkeeper Patterson I think is one of Everton's own so if we can develop him into a quality player fantastic uh, the boards have given me a club vision, play possession football, sign players under the age of 22. Absolutely love to do that. Uh, build a new stadium already in place. We won't be moving in before we finish this save. Uh, finish mid-table in the Premier League, be competitive in the FA Cup and the Cowbell Cup. Yeah, if we make any cup runs, fantastic. Oh, the supporter club vision as well. Play entertaining football interesting become an established premier league team um they've never been relegated yet they've, they've never been relegated from the premier league and be competitive against liverpool yeah we'll, we'll see how well that goes and so here it is the main inbox page for fm24 doesn't look too dissimilar of course to what fm23 was we're just going to accept the current vision for the club vision uh, because we have no credentials to be negotiating it at this stage you never do with your first save um, let's have a look contracts I'm gonna be going through those separately so let's just have a quick look at the finances of this club because in real life they are in disarray and well we've got 100 million in the bank and absolutely no money to spend in fact we're actually overspending on our wage budget so about 50,000 pounds over a week which kind of says to me we may have some players that we need to move on what's ffp saying decent projections looking actually not too bad it's premier it's the premier league they're going to have a lot of money that are going to be coming in so uh, i'm not too worried it's only up to the end of the 24 25 season we're looking anything after i don't care so now that we know where we stand financially which is zero budgets basically unless we can sell some players Let's go and say hello to the players. Tutorials get lost. And oh, this, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to need to sort the views out, aren't I? Um, okay, cool. Let's have a look. How many goalkeepers do we have in this squad? Um, we have four goalkeepers. One of whom is Jordan Pickford, obviously. He's going to be the main starter. Obviously, he's our best goalkeeper. I don't think we need to look too far on the goalkeepers. Defenders, let's just have a look. How many centre backs do I actually have? So, in fact, we'll just look at all the defenders because we just saved some time here. So, Michael Keane, Tarkovsky, Mason Holgate's still here. Oh, no, hang on, he has a transfer. Uh, he's joining Southampton 25th of August. I was going to say, didn't he leave Everton this summer? Ah, the morale is awful. We're going to need to do some uh, serious victories in some of the friendlies that we hopefully have coming up Kyle John I didn't I have him at Curzon Ashton in FM22 so that sounds like a League 2 player quite frankly Northampton won him there you go Seamus Coleman he's out for four to five months how old is he 34 year old Irish international goodness me he's, he's gonna be out for a little while Jean-Philippe Gamin I mean, a lot of people don't like this guy in real life, but I kind of think he's okay. He's okay as a backup player at the very least. So we'll probably make some use of the Ivorian International 
this season. Vitaly Mikolenko, of course, a good left back, probably the best left back at the club. 24 year old Ukrainian international. Yeah, a decent Premier League player. I think what the case is going to be with Everton is a lot of these players are okay for Premier League level, but nothing more, nothing less. Uh, defensive midfielders, we've got quite a few. Some of them are uh, fullbacks or def central defenders anyway. Alex Iwobi can play defensive midfield. Since when? Um, okay. He's joining Fulham anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's joining in September. Oh, I'm going to have to get used to this. So I need to figure out which players are actually going first. I forgot, Awobi's going, Holgate's going, Holgate I'm not going to miss too much. Anyone else? Andre Gomez is listed, I don't think he left in time? Is he even any good? <laughs> well, I mean... um, Championship level? Well, decent Premier League player, but unlikely to improve. And has the man even played for Everton that much? He was actually a regular starter a while ago. Okay, I suppose that's why he was loaned out to Leon. Uh, let's have a look at attacking midfielders. Again, Awobi, but he's leaving. Decore, Deli Alli, who's injured. Well, that solves the Deli Alli problem for the first half of the season. He's out for up to five to six months. Dwight McNeil, he's going to be a winger. Lewis Dobbin. Nowhere near good enough. Was he League One? Yeah, League One. He's nowhere near good enough. And Damari Gray. Oh, he's going to Saudi Arabia. I forgot that happened. He's going on the 7th of September as well. It's after the transfer window, so we're going to need to replace him. With what money, I don't know. Um, have, so, hang on. Have they actually made that money already? Oh, hang on. So if the transfers haven't happened, that means we've not had the money yet. We may still yet get some money to spend. I honestly hope that's the case because otherwise we're going to be stuck for who we're going to be bringing in. I mean, Beto and Chimitia coming in as strikers. Ellis Sims has just been promoted. No, hang on. No, he hasn't. Is this the same guy? No, not Ellis Sims. It's someone else. Was it Tom Cannon? Yeah, Tom Cannon. He was just promoted from the youth team. Hang on, he's already played in the Premier League. That's hilarious. He's already played in the Premier League. He's just been promoted properly. Uh, Neil Morpé, thank goodness this man is going. 1st of September. But Brentford, you can have him. He's absolutely useless. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, of course, the main man up front until Beto gets here. Who wants him? Hmm... We may have Dominic Calvert Lewin until September. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. We'll keep an eye on that. He is a very good player. He is a quality player. At the same time, does he have the injury? Yeah, he might have problems with, inju with injuries. If Manchester City want to come in with a good offer for uh, Dominic Calvert Lewin, I'm not going to complain. Or any Saudi Arabian club, PSG, you know, just uh, give me a call. You know, just slap down several, not several, but several tens of millions on the table and we will talk we will talk right so we've looked at the squad we looked at the finances tactics i mean i'm gonna do this yeah i'm gonna do this off script off uh, camera for the simple reason it's not just about choosing a tactical style it's also going through this the set pieces which have absolutely changed for fm24 and that's going to be too much to go through in just one video so i'm going to do that off camera and i'll show what i did in the next episode so what i think we're going to be doing for before wednesday's episode oh my god we got tottenham away from home wow okay and postacol glue first up uh maybe we will smash sheffield united 8-0 then just to make myself feel better we'll give him a bit of ptsd and then we got luton trying to make amends for the fact luton actually beat everton in real life at goodison park but the next episode will be the first game of the season it will be against Tottenham and we'll go through any transfers that will have happened as well there probably will be transfers because players will be coming and going in as per real life uh, between what days are today the 3rd of July and of course the first game of the season in just over a month 
I'll also show you the tactics that we're going to be using and also set pieces that just show you as I get to grips with how they're going to work. I haven't actually gone through many of the announcements that SI made about the features so apologies that I didn't go through them with you but hopefully as we find them in this save we can go through them together. If you have enjoyed today's episode make sure that you hit the like button down below and smash the big red subscribe button so you don't miss the first series that we're going to be doing with FM24. The early access has well and truly started thank you all so much for watching thank you all for your support on the channel so far i look forward to being back with more videos including more one-off videos over the next few weeks and months and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video